did it. Once. All right. All right. We're heading this way. Oh, sorry. I wanted to just be a part of that. I've been done it a couple of years. Uh, done it, I guess, I guess it did in 2011. And um, we do a lot of work down in Haiti. So uh, work that happened after the earthquake. And um, I think it's just, you know, just having this event is a good thing because it gives people a chance to sort of reflect on, on what happened and uh, try to do something positive. Um, I mean, I think it's always, you know, a day where you, you remember and um, being a New Yorker and I think, you know, anybody has a feeling about it. So uh, I think this is a great thing where you can just come back and do something that sort of uh, honors everybody who's affected. You know? What always comes back to me is the shock, just the shock of it, that, 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 that our world could be turned upside down in an, in an instant. And, 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 that, and that, again, reinforces the idea that in, the, in these moments that we have in these time these these hours and days and, and weeks and months and years that we have to be able to do something and make it count make it important um, is, is 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 the greatest bulwark against something that shocking happen um, we can't prevent that that all, all the time um, um, but we can we can be strong in our response and and people have done that and that's that's what I take away from it But um, it just lets you know that um, type of world we live in, and that um, even with my wife's new song, We Are Here, you know, that song is a message to encourage people to stay positive in a world where you might not have so many, you know, so many positive people. Uh, so this song is a message, We Are Here, and uh, she just released a video, and actually they did it today as the moment of silence. So it was on Z100 and all, I think it was like 40 different stations. So it was pretty amazing. Oh, I was just so polite. You're like sharing. Normally it's just all at once. Very civilized. Very civilized. It's a very good cause. Yeah, I mean, I think it absolutely, time always gives its perspective and healing. But, um, but I think New York particularly, um, more so than anywhere else in the world, is a city that um, in times of need really bands together and they're so proud and they're so loyal New Yorkers and I think that it really goes to show that every year it's not something that's ever forgotten it's something that's remembered even more so as time goes on and, um, and that's, that's really why I wanted to be here today you know yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I knew her by her maiden name, yeah. which I can't remember right now. It's been since college, so it was a long time ago. I was, my son, talking to him about it last night. Um, uh, it was his first day of school. I lived in the West Village, and the, and the prominent feature of the view out my window was, was the, the World Trade Center. Um, I saw the plane, second plane, you know, going, I mean, it was a terrible day. Um, you know, for a lot of people here, for a lot of people everywhere. Um, yeah, so I was literally, you know, talking with him about it. He's now uh, 15 years old. It was his first, it would have been his first day of school. It was his first day of school. They canceled school, obviously, but um, yeah, yeah it, it's hard to believe it was that long ago. It's, it's the passage of time does strange things to events like this. <laughs> I'm here on behalf of Opening Act, which is an organization that brings theater into high-need schools uh, in uh, Brooklyn and in the Bronx. And um, and I'm also here because it's, you know, on September 11th, it's hard to figure out exactly what to do to commemorate the day. And this is something, this is a way I feel like I can pass it in good conscience.
I, well, I get comfort out of, you know, being with the firefighters each year on 9-11. Um, uh, I just came from a firefighter breakfast at Engine 55 and the Battalion 2 Mass. Um, there were over, you know, 30 mem members that were lost in Battalion 2. Five of them were in Engine 55. Um, and it's sad, but there's also, you know, we all get comfort from just being together. I have no idea you could milk a cat. 